Hey, welcome back to my Rogue Tech campaign. So when last we left off, we had just taken a five skull mission and took on a whole bunch of assault mechs, took them down, finished the mission okay, but we are still in the process of repairing our mechs. We've gone through a um, financial report and I sold a bunch of extra uh, junk that we had lying around that we didn't really need. And what I'm doing now is going to spend this episode getting our second lance back up and running. It's been a while since they've been down, so I want to get them up and moving again. So we've got, Wolverine is just fine. I'm thinking that, that we're going to use this as Jasper's mech. Originally I was thinking about shifting it to the Kentaro, but I think this is going to be Jas Jasper's mech. The Black Knight's going to be run, run by Payroll, the lance commander. Kentaro is going to be Animal's mech, and the Hunchback will be the one that we're going to be running with Voodoo. So let's refit this. Now we talk about doing the Hunchback as sort of more of a standard Hunchback. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically lay it out with the Auto Cannon 20. So let's do that first. We've got the big heavy Auto Cannon 20 that we're going to drop in. Um, and we can use precision ammo and stuff with this guy because because it's just a regular Auto Cannon 20. So we're going to load in regular precision ammo, and I think we're probably only going to carry um, 10 tons of ammo. I don't think we'll really need more than that for this particular mech and build. Um, these guys are only going to be punching around, you know, three, three and a half, maybe four skulls at the most. So I, I don't think we're really going to need much more than that. I'm going to drop some ferrofibrous armor in, and we're going to go down and get some endo steel as well. Do that first get that dropped in. Now we don't have um, a lot of um, where are we here? We don't have a lot of other XL engine stuff but we do have four light engines so we're going to use a light engine in this mech and we're probably going to go up around I think either 240, 245. It's not going to be much of a difference here um, speed wise. Let's go with the 240 for now. Give it a little bit of speed to get in close. So we still got lots of weight left uh, we need to add one more heat sink here, so let's do that before we forget. So let's add a heat sink in. We're just going to drop it in the leg. So we need to get a cockpit on this guy. I'm thinking probably since we're using the AC-20, let's grab a TC cockpit since we've got lots of them lying around. And I'm going to want to get an ECM suite in. Now I'm thinking that this is going to be running, the this particular one here I'll use for the... Um, Black Knight and this ECM here will drop in this guy here and what else can we get going here we could run a mask but I don't particularly want to add the extra heat the AC 20 is generating 20 heat as it is so now um, we don't have any um, any ability to um, add bonus to hit for the AC 20 unfortunately we don't have a lot of money right now so we can't actually go buy a targeting uh, computer so we're gonna leave it at that um, the, breezy, the breaching cockpit um, is probably good enough for now with the plus one accuracy. And let's go back now. So we've got room for missile and laser hard points. So let's get, actually, before we do that, let's get the arms in here. I think, yeah, we can fit arm hands on both sides. So we'll do that. And then if we go to our weapons here. We can go to our lasers. Uh, and let's get a laser in each arm. Let's probably start with, um, we could just go with regular medium lasers. I think probably that's probably the best way to do this. So now we're going to have to start worrying about heat again. But then I'm thinking too that since we've got some missile hard points here, uh, we can get in, engage in with some um, SRMs maybe as well. So maybe like an SRM4 with, um, or maybe two SRM4s with a ton of ammo. With bonus damage and stability damage, you can go that route. Um, we're gonna need some heat sinking, so I don't know if we can actually go this route. So let's put the one in, and then we need a ton of ammo. So do we have? We do have accu SRM accuracy ammo, which we'll drop in, and then we need to worry about heat. So we've got 48, and we got another couple of double heat sinks I think lying around which we can use and we've got a heat banks too right so could add a heat bank um, but I think I want to save these two for the Black Knight so let's just grab a couple double heat sinks and we don't have space that's not good so let's just pull out the SRM4 then I guess 
Hmm. Once again, running into space, issue, space issues. If we go this route, the armor is pretty much maxed on this guy already. So we use another half a ton for armor. That gives us one ton left over. What can we... Oh, I know what we can do. We can remove probably... Actually, let's pull both of these out and just put the... Um, sorry. Let's just put the uh, upper arm actuators in this guy, or lower arm actuators. We don't need to do the full system like we had it. And our heat sinking is pretty good so far. Let's just drop in one more regular heat sink. And I think that'll probably be enough. Let's just put it on this side. Actually, let's move the ECM over. Um, let's do it like this. Actually, let's put the ECM in the head. There we go. So that's pretty good. Nine days, 83,000. It's reasonable. Um, it's not really heavy punch mech. Um, but once again, we were just we're trying for um, to get it kind of back to the original idea of having just a regular AC-20 in it. Plus that AC-20 does 120 damage, so it's pretty good. So the Kentaro now, let's do a refit on this guy. This one we're going to put in the SRMs that we had in the Trebuchet's um, 5S. So let's go to equipment first. And let's go down. I think one of these can only be a hand. The other one has to be lower arm. But that's fine. Ferrofibrous we want to throw in. Our armor is already kind of maxed out, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's go down to the endo steel. Drop that in. And we're going to want to add probably an Artemis system in this guy. So let's put that up there. Um, let's see, what else do we have? XL gyro we definitely need. And we have a light engine up here, which we can drop in. And I think we're going to watch, want to put an ECM in this guy for sure. And we need to find out what kind of engine we want to run in here. So I think we used a 240 in the other mech. We could run just a 245 in this guy. Actually, you know what? Let's go with a 250. Let's run with a 250 in this guy. Get a little bit of extra speed out of him. Okay, let's take one off this. So now we're looking pretty good here. So let's go to weapon systems. Not so much worried about weight in this guy. It's going to be space, I think, is the big deal with this one. So this guy really is going to be a close-in mech. And what I want to do with this one is get back to our SRM sixes that we had, and I want to put one, uh, two of them in the arm here, and then I want to go to, um, we want another SRM six or do we want a four with the extra damage? I think we want to go with the extra damage on this, and then we need two tons of ammo, and I'm going to be putting dead fire ammo in this sucker. So let's do this in here, and that's how many rounds? That's only 60 rounds, I believe. 80 rounds, and then regular SRM ammo. So that's going to give us, that's 100, that's 9 turns of continuous fire with everything. Thinking that's probably going to be okay. Now let's go to equipment, and I want to get some heat sinking here. So we're going to add an exchanger to this guy. I'm going, to put it in the C I'm going to put it in the CT here, I think. That's really going to help our heating situation. And then we can start looking at what kind of lasers we want on this guy on each arm. And I'm thinking probably we don't want to go too crazy on it. So I'm thinking maybe just like a pair of medium lasers. Um, just for now. Like so. And then we got to worry about our heat sinking again. So what are we at here? Yeah, it's not too bad. We could add a couple of double heat sinks. Oh, right, we have the Artemis system, so let's pull that out. Um, I mean, we could go with the Artemis and have better chances to hit, but since we're going to be really close to people and we're using dead fire ammo with this, we're going to be doing a ton of damage when we hit. So I just want to kind of go with a regular plus one missile and then we'll what we'll do is when we get more money we'll get add uh, more missile systems to it so let's grab some double heat sinks and what are we at now should be pretty close yeah we're heat we're heat neutral right now so we want to get more speed out of this guy too what about a mask system how much is this way but then it adds heat generation from weapon fire 
we don't want to go that route. Um, could just put a regular heat sink in. What else do we have here that we might want to use? Case, maybe? That's one ton. I mean, we could do this. But I'm thinking probably better to do it this way. No, it limits the damage to three points. Let's do it this way. Really? No. We want to go this side. Because we want to shield our left side from the enemy. So we can do it this way, I think. And I'll confirm this, because I think that's pretty good overall. Neutral heat, two medium lasers, tons of SRMs. Um, so this is like 10 damage per missile here. Each of these is 10 damage per missile, so that's, you know, 160, and then this is 12 damage per missile. So 208 damage if they all hit, and then times one and a half. So that's going to be that's going to be crippling for anyone that gets hit. We got five tons left. I just realized we have five tons left. I was targeting 50. Okay, five tons left. What can we do with five tons? We need a cockpit. We haven't got that in there yet. Let's put that in for now. And we could run a mask. This is like two tons, right? But it's, we need three slots. So if we once again reduce this one to arm lower and then we grab our mask Let's put it in this side got three tons left so I'm thinking maybe we just pull out the Pharaoh and let's go with what do we have here that we could use reflective I don't think I want to use any of that stuff kinetic energy resistance Resistance from ballistic attacks. Resistance from lasers. Hmm. I don't like the fact there's 10 dynamic slots reserved. So, yeah, these really aren't going to help at this point. Hardened armor won't help. So, we got the mask in. Now what do we do? We need to balance this out a little bit. So do that. And then let's grab... Definitely going to need double heat sinks. So, oops, let's go to double heat sinks. And let's add... We could add a heat bank too, right? Instead of double heat sink. Let me think about this. We got a heat bank. Six out of 51. How does that work all of a sudden? The mask is going to add 20% heat generation, isn't it? 20% heat from weapons fire. And if our weapons fire is 56, it's going to be adding another 10. Or sorry, Alpha Strike's 51. It'll be adding another 10, so 61. So we do need another heat sink. So maybe we go one... Uh, you're going to be in close. I don't want to really strip back armor. Um, going to do this. And then we're going to add a double heat sink. Yeah, I think that's what we have to do. Double heat sink's got to go in an arm, too. I think that'll probably put us way closer to what we need to be. With that mask, that's going to really help out too, right? Okay, so let's confirm this. It's 106,000. Not bad. And the last mech we, have to, mech we have to outfit is the Black Knight. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this guy yet. It's all laser points, I believe, in this one. Yeah, we got eight laser points. So I'm thinking this is going to be our long-range punish, long range punisher. So he's just going to stand back and shoot. 
Now we don't have a lot of heat sinking left. So let's just strip out. Let's leave the big core in for now with 36 heat sinking. Pull out this stuff. It's just a regular large laser. And let's max out the armor. And we're going to reduce the back slightly because we are not going to be in close. So let's just do that maybe. No. Nope. Well, I don't know. Something like that. Okay, so let's go to equipment and make our way down. Uh, Clan Ferrofibrous, we were talking about putting that in here. The, you're not going to go with, well we could go with Clan Cockpit. Command Cockpit would not be another choice too. Um, I thought these guys gave Command Comp, um, Command Cockpits gave plus one initiative. thinking that we want to go with this. You know what, let's try the command cockpit to see if that actually does give plus one initiative. ECM Angel we were going to add. Definitely going to need the exchanger. We're going to need a light engine and we are going to need uh, ultra light gyro or extra light gyro that is. The heat bank, let's put that in here. We used our other one up. Uh, Indo steel definitely. Um, so that's that. Let's go to the arms. We're gonna need. Just gonna put lower arms because we're gonna need space, I think, for stuff here. We're already starting to get up there. Um, weapon systems. Now we're gonna go with. Uh, it's all lasers. So we gotta figure out what we want to throw on this guy. Now PPC wise, we've got two of these babies we could drop in. That still gives us lots of, uh, it's like 35, 70, minus 20 percent is 56. So 36, 20 left over, and 9, 10, it's 10 left over, so we're 10 over. Yeah, that's what it's, so, that's what it's showing here. Okay, so... We have to look at heat sinking here. Let's go to uh, find out how many double heat sinks we got left. We got two left. We're definitely going to need them both. Let's drop those in. Starting to get close here. Let's go to weapons and lasers, and let's grab. We got Clan ER mediums, don't we? We got one Clan ER medium. So we could add that as well. Small laser double plus, it's half a ton. So if we go one, two, four, we could add this guy in. Oh, I can only put one in that arm. Let's put the small laser here. Go back down and grab our triple plus PPC. Drop that in. Got 10 tons left over. See, this is crazy, right? Um, we add the clan medium here. Clan large here. And then the rest, three tons of heat sinks. See, clan pharaoh can leave that off and then we just go one two three four and add a quarter ton of armor back right so one two three four and do that so two ppcs i think we're going to be like in trouble here heat wise yeah alpha strikes one or two i mean we'd have to rotate weapons i guess The other thing is maybe we don't, if we leave the large, one, two, three, four, 
We can take the small out, that'll save a bit of heat. Leave the large off of the arms and use it as a backup weapon. Hmm. The other thing too, is I'm thinking that maybe we do, that's a little better, but still really, really bad. Got medium pulse lasers we could use, which are probably a little better than the ER mediums, but you need to be close for those guys to work. Um, the large pulse, a lot of heat though. Large ER, just a regular large laser. Five tons, 30 heat. But it's got a bonus chance to hit, right? It's less heat, a little bit less damage, more weight, but better chance to hit. I know we use that in several builds. I'm over now, but that's okay. Hmm. Do we not just have regular ER mediums? Here we go. So the only difference between these and the clan ER mediums is the damage and the range, obviously. So we can do that. And what are we looking at now? Yeah, we're pretty close now. And then we can just drop in some regular heat sinks. Let's put the small laser back in first. I'm thinking we can afford to drop the small laser in because we're not going to be firing it all the time. Just put it on this side and then going to equipment, heat sinks. We can just finish up with some heat sinks on this guy. And one more. So that's not bad overall, I don't think. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Large long range pinpoint damage, command cockpit for bonus sight. It's accuracy with indirect fire, but we're not going to be firing at distances. I'm all, you know what? I'm thinking probably that the uh, TC cockpit's going to be better than this. Let's do that. I, we're not going to be in a position where that's really going to matter, having that extra initiative, I don't think. Of course, now that I say that, I'm going to be like, oh, I wish I had done that. But let's put the TC cockpit in this guy. It's going to save us three tons. So maybe... Go back to weapons really quick. Actually, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. Let's go here. We're going to grab two more heat sinks. And we're going to put one and two in like this. And then we are going to go back. And we are going to grab a tag. And we're going to include a tag. Because that way will be heat flush pretty much. And we'll have the tag that we were talking about for this lance. This guy can fire first. Hmm. Yeah, let's go that route. 20 days. Right. I'll get it in the All right, so that will be the end of this episode. We've managed to refit our secondary lance. I'm just going to advance forward to our Orion is back. And um, basically, the reason why flat, Flatliner and Payroll are out is because they ended up in a fight. Okay. So we got 15 days to get enough uh, cash to be able to hit our financial statement, which should be no problem. If we go back to our mech bays real quick. So now we got our main lance, which is all heavies. And we got two Marauder 2s that are just sitting here waiting to go for our assault lance. Our secondary lance is all up and ready to go now. And so what we need to do is get enough money to get bay 3 up. We can get a light lance going and then we'll have some enough two slots left over for two more assault mechs. So we'll have an assault, a heavy, a medium, roughly medium, and a light lance, and then a couple of extra slots for extra mechs. So that's what I think we're going to run once we get enough uh, money going. So yeah, until uh, next time, that's going to be it. And if you liked the video, please drop a like, and feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.